What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Chef Yarneezy, the Pip Master, coming at you with another hot one for the day. So I've been looking at the chart, and man, it is acting a fool today. Look at all this consolidation, right? All this is heavy. Oh, shoot. No, no, don't move the line now. All this is heavy consolidation is all this is, right? It is a physical drop based on my one-hour chart markup. Do you guys remember this? I hope so. I did a channel. It literally hit the top of my channel and turned around. So I used to trade channel to channel. Okay, that was one of my strategies. I'm still, I think I'm going to go back to it because it actually works. But the problem I have is the 50 is crossing the 200 here, which price can bounce off the 50 and then push up and hit the 800. I think the market is really waiting on Friday to make a serious move because on Friday we have Dr. the Temple Pekin. That was my Bugs Bunny music. Employment change, unemployment rate, average allergy, non-form. That non-form employment change going to make that market shift, okay? So be ready for the shift. But for now, I think we're going to come down to about the 50. Now, this is my analysis for the week, um, for the rest of the week. If price, if price decides to come down to 29.868 right here on the support line, then if it, if it passes that and the 200, and hits this support at 29.670, be ready to come downtown, okay? Because it's it wants to complete this move right here, okay? If nothing else, it want to complete that to come down to 28.612, okay? Now, if price bounces off of the 50, right? Price comes down, boom, bounce off the 50. If it busts through my channel, price will go up because the 800 will start coming this way okay so price will go up here to about oh, 30,858 okay so we have um, a double direction if you will right it has two things it's trying to do right it's either going to complete this move here from here to here and come across boom right they're gonna do that anything else I drew okay that was it or is going to complete the channel so it's got two choices here to make very very risky okay is either gonna do that or it's gonna come here complete this and then make some more magic happen down here okay now it looks like it should do that but we all know how the Dow Jones can move. It can literally bounce right here, take a shoot, one of the most long crazy candles, play around, keep going, and finally hit up here, right? Which will make this true here to complete a reverse arch, okay? But I think, I believe, Based on where the RSI is, where it hit here in the RSI, I think it's going to come on down here and try to hit the magenta in the RSI. And the magenta last time put price here. Excuse me. Put price uh, there. Okay. From here. From this dip. Okay. So it dipped down, came up. From this high point, it came down. Right here from this high point. Right here. It came down from this high point. It came all the way down to this level, 1,979 pips. Now, if I can call this move, just consider me done, okay? But that's what I'm looking at. So I hope this helps. Four minutes. I'm only talking about US 30 today. Um, oh, wait, wait. Nope, nope. I'm devil is a lie. Uh, American Airlines, I still think it could buy up to hit the 200. It's right there. So that'll put it at $13.20. If it does do that, I think price can come up here to $14.33. Just basically looking at the setup for American Airlines. Based on these moves it made here, boom, 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 support, resist, support, resistance. A little bit of divergence there. I think price can come up here because the 800 is trying to gear down for price to come and meet it. Now, that's if it's ready to hit the 800. If it's ready to hit the 800, then we're looking at price at 1442 on American Airlines. So I need to wait and gauge it, but I think I'm going to do a call 
on my stock option on American Airlines. Okay, that's enough for now. All right, I'm your boy, Chef Yarnese. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment if you can. Tell me if this has helped you in any way. I really appreciate it. And share, share, share. I'm trying to get these numbers up, right? So people will come to this page and understand that we have to change the direction of our minds, the direction of where we're going when it comes to finances and it comes to trading. In the trading world, we need to be smart and savvy. How do you do that? By studying and applying what you study to what you do. All right, that's my time. I'm out.